Hey guys, and welcome to Cardboard Cane and what will be the first video on this channel. Now, a little bit of a background information about myself before we do get into unboxing the Annihilate EX box. Prior to doing all this collecting and this channel, I was pretty much streaming and playing games on my other channels. You can find them in the description below, by the way, if you are interested. Um, and then at some point during OzPAX last year, October, one of my sisters here in Sydney decided to send me and my sister that I was with in Melbourne a picture of them cracking a few packs of, I think it was Dragon Ball or even Pokemon, I think as well. I think they did both. And that prompted my sister in Melbourne with me to buy a couple packs and uh, I think it was an Evolving Skies ETB. They opened it. They got hooked. Fast forward two weeks later back in Sydney they finally got me hooked. Now, of course, I was never a collector before. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! 18 years ago. I was just a player back then. And anything that was cool, but was useless in the actual game, went straight into a binder, and they stayed there for 18 years in my parents' garage. They kept well, by the way. So here we are now. I'm starting this channel because I'm well and truly deep into the hobby. I enjoy the hobby. Um, but the only problem was, when we started, we started... I wouldn't even say smack bang in the middle of Sword and Shield. It was pretty much near the back end of it. So we came in, Brilliant Stars was going completely out. Evolving Skies, there was no hope at all on getting into it. And then out of nowhere, Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies started popping up in all places like petrol stations and everything. And then we got really heavily into it. And it's actually quite exciting to be here at the start of a new era of Pokemon, the TCG anyhow. And being there from the start to be able to collect everything from this point onward. So my goal pretty much for this channel as well is to master set everything Scarlet Violet onwards. Making guides, letting you guys know what product you need to buy, what you need. And hopefully a comprehensive layout system so you know where everything goes. So you can kind of play the video as fast or as slow as you want back and forth to make sure that your binders line up perfectly. because. When I first started, I started with Brilliant Stars, and the amount of times I had to shuffle that book back and forward because I messed up here and there is amazing. And I even did it still with the recent set of Powder Evolved because I was tired, I was out of my mind. But I've gotten there. Um, I will be doing a Scarlet Violet Master Set very soon. Um, I'm just waiting on a few more cards. The same with Powder. I'm waiting for a few more products to come out before I actually make that video. But do expect a Scarlet Violet Master Set very soon. But what you're here for. Let's get on with the unboxing. Well, now that we have the Annihilate EX box in front of us, you'll notice that it is sizably smaller than the EX boxes or the promo boxes, I guess you would call them, usually are. Possibly because the Jumbo card is absent from this particular one. Um, I'm not too sure if they've taken Jumbo cards away completely. At this point, um, I'm hoping not because some of them are pretty cool. Uh, you'll probably notice within this window here that there is a Annihilate EX. I believe this is a Black Star promo. And I'm also, as I said before, currently in the process of master setting Pow Day Evolved. And I can tell you now that if you are intending to do that, you will need this box purely because the Mankey and the Primeape that are here are actually the foil variants of the base set. In Powder Evolved, so you'll have three copies of that card in your binder. So you'll definitely need this box if you are intending to master set Powder Evolved. So let's get cracking straight into it and see what we've got inside. Alright, upon taking it out of its package, from what I can see, I think we have. I think that's a Lost Origin packet actually. Let's just pop these open. Try not to do any damage to these because I'm also keeping a master set of all the promos for um for Scarlet Violet. And seeing as I wasn't there at the start of Sword and Shield, like I mentioned before, and I want every single one that they release from this point onwards. So, as you can see, you have your numbered your numbered inset base set, uh, Mankey and Primeape, the foil variants because they come in non hollow and reverse hollow, I believe, and your Black Star promo and Ilabe EX. So, for those looking for the promo, you can probably get this cheaper if you were to buy it just separately. But for those needing the foil variants, you'll 
more than likely want to be picking up the entire box. So let's just put this aside for now, keep them all nice and thingy. All right, so as I mentioned before, yep, we've got two Pade Evolved Mouse Karata art set, uh, Pade Evolved packets, one Scarlet Violet, and one Lost Origin packet. Now, I don't particularly agree with the random Lost Origin packet, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But I guess this is just one of those things that they do just to get rid of stock. Um, I guess I can't complain because um, when we started Sword and Shield, I believe one of the tins, I can't remember what tin I got, but I think it had a Cosmic Eclipse packet in it or something. It was the one that had the Blastoise alt art in it for the Blastoise Piplup alt art. And I was lucky enough to pull that one out of that one single tin and fell in love with the Sun and Moon alt arts and tag teams. And I started collecting those as well. So... Can't really complain. I'll leave that one to last because I have a very bad relationship with Lost Origin as well. When I was opening Sword and Shield Lost Origin, I had no luck with the Lost Origin set at all. So we'll start with the Scarlet Violet and hopefully I don't put anyone into too much of an anxiety with the way I ham hand these ones. Okay. There's your code card for anyone at home. And I think it was just like one to the front, wasn't it? I think I might got this upside down. I do have it upside down. All right. Basic energy, Growlithe, Staravia, Routes, Tandem Mouse, which is evidently also my wife's favorite Pokemon at the moment. That and Mousehold. Medicham, Quaxwell, EXP Share, Tarantula, Squivet, and Pormont. Alright, so no real big luck on the first one. Alright, Pade Evolved. So, Pade Evolved, I do actually need a couple more art res in the set to finish it off. I'm not too far away from finishing it. And then, I think probably about another month away. And here's your code card. Another month away and I'll be able to finish it because I'm waiting for a few of the products to come out. So, Steel Energy, Hopip. Nakahita, Pinchurchin, Dano, Gremblegast, Superior Energy Retrieval, Sudowoodo, which is actually one of my favorite Pokemon as well. I like the weird ones, as you can tell. Ditto in the corner there. My favorite one. Oranguru, Grafia, blah, 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 and Rapscar. Okay, so again, not much luck. So these EX boxes, or these boxes in general, I tend to keep away from, unless I'm... Um, Unless I'm after the promo card. Oh, I left one little corner there. Unless I'm after the promo card. And there's your code card again. And then you just have these success stories about people buying like some of these boxes and they just get absolute fire. And you're like, oh, I'll do the same thing. Doesn't work. Uh, okay, Psychic Energy. In Church and Nakahita. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Giacomo. Talonflame. Heracross, Murkrow, Kilowattrol, and absolutely zero luck. But the artwork on these are pretty cool. Sableye, cool. All right, so it'd be funny if this pack itself is the magic pack and this happens for the first video, but I don't have high hopes for it, so... Now, I think this one was, you open the packet. I got a black code card, which is a good thing. There's your code card for Lost Origin. Now, I think it was four to the front, I think. Oops, I'm upside down. All right, Darkness Energy, Silicon, Machoke, Iskan, Phantom. My boy Sudowoodo, Electric, Love Disc, Gliga, Ariyama, and unfortunately, no hits for this box. But it's all good. The whole point of this box for me, and I was always going to get one, was mainly for these. So if you are master setting Powder Evolved, you will need these 100%, um, amongst others. I will cover them all in the video when I do make it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, subscribe, 
and tell me what kind of stuff you want to be watching on this channel, whether it be funny stuff, stuff to rip. Um, I will be doing some case openings with some friends soon when Obsidian Flame does come out and leaning onwards into 151, obviously the hype is there for that. So you guys take it easy. This is Cardboard Kane. Thank you for watching the video. I'll catch you in the next one.